Hi there, folks. Sean Bartlett here at the PDAC, and boy, have I got a find for you. K92 Mining. This is Brian Slusarczyk beside me, and he's from that company. They're in New Guinea. And you're thinking, well, what do we know about New Guinea? New Guinea is a place for big mines, and these guys are on the trail of one of the biggest. Brian is going to tell you guys all about it. Could you please speak to my viewers about this? Absolutely, Sean. This is a project that was owned by Barrick Gold the world's largest gold mining company. And the reason that they acquired this project for $141 million in 2007 is the massive size potential. And it's one of these rare parts of the world that you have the combination of incredibly large size potential with very high grades. Currently, we have in total approximately 3.3 million ounces on the project. Of that, 2 million ounces are 43101 compliant, 1.3 million are historical. And high grade too. Exceptionally high grade. Very high grade gold. We're in production now. We've been ramping up over the past couple of months at the first deposit. We'll produce approximately 55,000 ounces per year from that first deposit at an all-in sustaining cost of approximately $650 per ounce. We will then in Q1 2018, bring a second deposit online at a rate of 108,000 ounces annually, all in sustaining costs of $619 an ounce. So we're in the lowest quartile in the industry in terms of costs. We've got big size, we've got very high grade, and we've got an aggressive drill program. There are two drills on site right now. We're adding a third, and we'll be drilling for the next 12 months to add ounces and also targeting new discovery. Fantastic. Now, you also have great infrastructure, but since this used to be a barrack project, one thing we should mention, because you know that I've been to a bunch of barrack projects and I've been on site and all that stuff, they never think small. They only think big, because that's, they think, is like the path to greatness. This is, I mean, when you guys got this, not only did they spend like $147 million on it initially getting it, they spent another $100 million fixing the thing up, and then they sold it to you for $2 million, right? Yeah, we, we were out there buying gold assets when nobody wanted gold. So we were in the right spot at the right time. Barrick had $13 billion in debt, had just started their corporate divestiture process, and we were able to scoop this up. We've got a world-class management team that has built mines all over the world, but this team was shocked when we uh, found out exactly what, what we had on the table. Barrick had invested in excess of $100 million, as you mentioned, in the project. Therefore, we've got a great underground mining operation, processing facilities, paved road to site, the hydroelectric dedicated power line, a 400-person camp, and this stuff was in wonderful condition. We spent another $10 million upgrading and enhancing the mill, the processing facilities, and now things are just running exceptionally well. Great. Now, um, looking forward, so there's more good news to come. Yeah, absolutely. It's already large. It's already high grade. But with drills turning on site, we'll be adding ounces. There will be a new resource uh, update. And uh, we've got production rapidly increasing by the day. Fantastic. This is extremely exciting. And if being in New Guinea scares you off, no, this is a country that is focused on natural resources. They treat the people who work in natural resources right, and so that makes it all the more exciting in that it's an undiscovered gem in a part of the world that most people aren't thinking about, but it has really big potential. And so it'll be very exciting to see what Brian and his company actually do over the next year and beyond. So that'll be great. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, if people would like to take a look at what we're doing, they can check out our website at k92mining.com. We trade on the TSXV under the symbol KNT, and in the U.S., KNTNF. Fantastic. I was going to ask you that stuff. You beat me to it. All right. Stay tuned, folks. I'll have more for you from the PDAC. Thanks very much for speaking to him. Uh, a lot of great stuff here. This is one of the good ones, and we'll be looking more into it.